So, hi guys. Um, today was absolutely stunning, as you can see in the photo here. Um, lovely, warm-ish spring day. Um, a little bit of a breeze and uh, blue blue sky, little white fluffy clouds and some lovely sunshine. Um, canvas sands, loads of people on there, horse riders, walkers, dog walkers, etc. People just enjoying the day. Um, so Carly and I um, decided we would uh, make the most of Canberra Sands. The tide was right out when we arrived, so we did a few shots down by the water um, and also up into the dunes, which you'll see shortly. Um, perfect day, really. Um, you know, not too cold, not too windy, slight breeze, just to get a little bit of um, hair movement, which was nice. Complete natural um, light, no, no um, artificial lighting at all. Um, this was um, my first shoot with Carly. We've, we only met this that day, so um, just took it nice and easy, nice and simple, and uh, just simple shots like this we started off with, and uh, and then progressed. So um, up into the dunes we went and uh, took a few headshots, um, sort of mid mid sort of uh, body shots, and then some full full body shots as well, utilising the uh, the grasses and the sand and everything, and uh, a couple of different outfits there. Um, She's got nice blonde hair with a um, sort of say darkish blonde hair, um, and it sort of goes quite nicely with the um, the grasses, which you'll see as this changes into a colour image. There you go, um, and also a slightly green top as well. So that kind of sort of went with the grasses and the sand and everything as well. So that worked really nicely as a, as a uh, uh, the first outfit we used. Um, we also used a um, sort of big coat um, and a hat. Which uh, works quite nicely as well. Um, trying to keep it natural. I've hardly edited these shots at all. I mean, talking 30 seconds per image, uh, a few tweaks here or there, and uh, just basically raw uh, processing. Uh, same shot, same same sort of idea here. I'm shooting from low down, looking up. So you've got the sky um, in the background, everything sort of winter coat, uh, jeans, and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, just snapping away really we were just chatting away um you're sort of enjoying the day really just having a bit of a laugh um but obviously being proactive at the same time so uh these shots are really light because they're just natural sort of just you know not too posed um and uh this shot here we a couple of shots we took um and it worked quite nicely quite a flattering shot um didn't try too many facial expressions to start off with um mainly because we didn't know each other um, and it's good to just chat away and just let the model be herself and then you know let her relax um, so a few shots like this we are going to do some more soon which will be nice um, but using the Sony a7R3 and I use the Sigma 135 f1.8 art series lens uh, for the majority of the shoot uh, plenty of space so I can stand back and make the most of the uh, the gorgeous background as well. So it worked really nicely. The shadows um, relatively uh, nice, not too long, not too short, because the sun was just at the right height, which was nice. Um, and then we uh, had a little wander along and um, moved location. Yeah, if you can, if you're happy to. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's it. Rock there. With, I see a big splash now. So once we'd uh, been on Camera Sands, we uh, grabbed uh, some food and a little bit of drink and everything from the cafe there, and then uh, moved up the road a little bit, about a mile or so, and uh, ended up at Drew's Gap, which is quite a good place for the kite surfers and everything. But there's also these big rocks and groins and, and things like that we were using so and the tide by now had actually come right in so it had been right out uh, and back in um, and these are the shots we were getting from from here uh, I had about a five minute window of while the while the tide was still coming in it was hitting those um, groins there and splashing up but literally five minutes later it had come in further so it wasn't doing it anymore so it's one of those opportunities that you've just had to make the most of uh, and I really love this shot it's you know she's kind of like she doesn't know what's going on behind her kind of look um, which was cool. Um, the photos all in all, really happy with them. Um, I haven't actually put all of them up, but um, these are just some of the ones I, I really like, and, and I know Carly likes um, as well, and um, she's really pleased with them, so that's, that's the whole point of it. Um, makes me happy that I've actually made someone 
you know, love their own own sort of selves and you know in the photos, which is really nice. Um, you've got this uh, that sort of V cut, which is allow sort of allows you to walk through while if the tide's right in, it allows people to sort of carry on walking along the beach if they um, are there, which is, makes quite a nice sort of uh, sort of shot. Just simple but nice. Um, and then um, we uh, the tide was coming in so fast that actually we sort of ran out of anywhere to stand so we decided that we might as well call it a day we should shot for about two two and a half hours on in all um and uh, yeah really lovely day couldn't ask for any better weather really it wasn't hot it wasn't cold um but it was it was pleasant uh, a little bit windy but not too bad um relatively sort of low a low speed breeze really but you know enough to flick hair a little bit which was you know makes some of the shots work well um but yeah really nice um, and then while I was there, I was snapping a few things, a bit like the waves coming in and splashing around and things like that. So, um, but uh, that that was quite cool. Um, but as you can see, lovely weather, lovely and clear. Visibility was awesome. It's hardly any hazy or anything like that. Um, but the waves are getting, as you can see there, they're coming, getting bigger and bigger. Um, and uh, it was sort of was stopping us sort of doing any more really. Um, anyway, down there. Um, and sometimes it's just best to just go right. We've done really well let's call it a day because otherwise you start losing ideas and momentum and and everything so um but then i quickly showed um carly the the photos and uh she had a quick look through um after i finished snapping um which um obviously it's a good thing to do if you're if you're doing portrait and stuff i always show the models as we're going i mean i've shown her the previous ones on camera sands as well obviously while we were up here but just so she could have a quick look um at what was going on and there's here's a couple of shots of uh like the water splashing up over like it was like a jellyfish um so but using the sony a7r3 and the a the uh, sigma 135 uh, f1.8 art lens as well uh natural lights no artificial light it was such a lovely day i just thought let's keep it simple make the most of the natural light and it was really it wasn't too harsh it did keep disappearing behind the clouds every now and again um but it it was one. It was really, really good. So pleased with that. Um, this is how sharp this lens is. Basically, this horse. There's a few horses galloping up and down the beach. Um, that's a heavy cropping already um, that you're looking at. So you can see there. Um, you know, that's how sharp the lens is. And this shot here is basically what the original shot kind of looked like. It's obviously a different. It's actually a different shot, but that's how far away the horse was. And that's how much I'd cropped in uh, on the image. So. Um, on to bokeh just to see you know having an f1.8 lens or an f1.4 or whatever can really give you a lovely soft background but sometimes you actually get an ugly bokeh <laughs> um, as you can see there some black dots all over there and they're actually the groin sticking out of the water and actually ruined the shot in my eyes so i quickly on photoshop just got rid of them and it suddenly makes the picture so much better um, and takes the distractions away from you so um, for me that kind of fixed it and that's the sort of editing I do I don't do too much I try not to retouch the models too much a couple of blemishes here or there maybe a little tweak um, here or there if needed or if they've requested it um, other than that I leave them alone um, I try and leave photos nowadays as lifelike as possible so um, trying to prove you know to, to, to show people that actually being as lifelike and as real as possible is actually better than having too much editing done to you, you know. So anyway, that's that's the way I look at it anyway. So that's my my personal view. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the, the video quickly. Um, kept it as short as I could. <laughs> um, but anyway, so please subscribe. Please click the notification bell. And uh, I'll see you soon.